ramen, and anything else on a tortilla together, it's burrito time, baby. All right, y'all, welcome back. I am just outside of Provo, Utah right now, or I'm south of Provo, Utah, uh, and I'm gonna be heading a couple more hours south to a campground that I hope has a spot open, but it's currently Friday, and it's Friday, and there's my wife calling. Uh, hey, what's up? I was just calling you back. All right, hold on a second, I was filming. Um, so anyways guys a couple hours south hopefully there's a spot open because there's campers all over the road so we'll see how this one goes but uh yeah now there's a traffic jam in front of me so stay tuned guys we'll see what happens I'd like to say that due to how rough this road is, there probably won't be very many people up there, but I said that about the second spot at Dinosaur National Monument, and there was a lot of people there. So, we shall see, but I am definitely out in the middle of nowhere. Oh, and now we're taking switchbacks. Whew. Well, let's sincerely hope that there's a camping spot open. I really hope there's nobody else there, but I don't know if I'm gonna get that lucky. Uh, I still have like half an hour to get there, so we shall see. I would doubt anybody's hauling campers through here. I'll show you this. I used one of my leveling blocks because the truck was a little tilted and it's sitting a whole lot better now. And somebody's coming. Going side by side. Yeah. So there's animal prints down here for sure. I couldn't really tell you what those were, but there's some sort of animal prints. It's kind of steep right here. Got mine. There's a bench over there. And here we are. It is a pretty beautiful lake. But you guys won't be able to see it. But like I can literally see the bottom everywhere. Or all the grass and vegetation. It you know. But I can see all the way to the bottom. At least all along this whole stretch. Camera can't pick it up. And then yeah, you've got those mountains in the distance over there. And it's closer in person. This is a really wide lens. Uh, I don't have any other lenses with me. So, that's kind of a bummer, but I'm parked right over there. Yeah, it'd be nice if you get right by the water, but you cannot. Yeah, I don't know, can you guys see? Like those rocks are, I don't know, all of that's underwater, I guess, that you can see on camera. I just saw a little fish go swimming out. And I saw this all over on the way up here. People had carved their names in the trees as they were growing. Uh, and some of them you could see were from like the 90s and were like halfway up the tree. 
but they've all like a bunch of these have been carved in 2014 2017 19 but I saw one from 1997 I thought it was you know obviously it's graffiti etc but it's also kind of neat that it's on a tree and it's gonna grow and like it stays in there like all of these trees are are graffitied on that one 2012 there's some on this tree Tyler why did you do that to the tree but yeah there were some really big ones just right along the side of the road where people had stopped and done it to them so there's a campsite there right where you drive in and there is a outhouse so it was that campsite this one right here which is directly across from them or that one up on the hill and as far as i can tell those are the only fire pits up here so those are the only campsites yeah it's a beautiful place up here and the weather's nice it's not super hot up here thankfully it was probably going to be cold tonight there's a little bit of breeze but not much it's all higher up in the trees and the trees are pretty big so yeah chilling I kind of want to have a fire so I was hoping they'd come back like who knows maybe they're not coming back tonight I would doubt that but uh, I did run into one couple on a side-by-side -side going down the mountain when I was coming up I don't know maybe they just came up and set up camp but you wouldn't think they'd leave their chairs out so who knows uh, yeah I'm gonna hang out for a little while I still got a I don't know at least another hour of sunlight here but I am getting kind of hungry I don't know we shall see I'm gonna drink this beer all right guys so I was sitting here on the tailgate staring at the lake and I was like dummy why don't you put your hammock up there's trees everywhere so I don't have my bug net hammock I have uh, just a regular hammock but we're gonna slap that sucker up over in these trees and hang out in the hammock for a little while I'm gonna do these two trees right here So I've got the lake behind me, but in front of me, over here, there's mountains too, and the moon's up over there. Whew, let's not fall out of this. Use our beverage holder here. We get in. shabby huh, there's a graffiti on that tree right there not this first one but the next one there's a little trail down here to the lake too yeah this is nice All right, 
So I thought to myself, since these people aren't here and I have the campground to myself, why don't I actually cook dinner before the sun goes down? I'm gonna grab my grill. Since I don't know about fires up here, we're just gonna grill it and do it that way. It's honestly been a, quite a while since I've used the grill. I still need to use this. Maybe we'll give that a shot tomorrow. Another grill. It's really dirty, as usual. All right, I'm gonna need some metal, I guess, for this. Still don't think I have any tongs with me, which is kind of a bummer. We can just use our silverware. Don't get too excited over there. Uh, we're gonna do leftovers. So I've got a couple of these leftover spicy mango with jalapeno chicken sausages. We're gonna toss those on the grill. Just gotta use them up, right? And then I need to get some water going for some firewalk hot and spicy molten chili chicken ramen and it's honestly it's gonna be way faster for me to do that with the jet boil as opposed to boiling water on there so I'm gonna go grab the jet boil and we'll do it that way it'll just be faster much much faster Plants is poking me. Sorry, plants. Packets in. I guess I'll show you the rest of it. I picked up some more chicharrones. I've been on a chicharrones kick. We've got some uh, pork pork rinds here. There are barbecue and zeste chipotle, chipotle, otl, otl. And we are going to slap these in some tortillas here. But I also have, I've got some of this Goon Squad's dang sauce. I tried that a couple episodes back. And we also have 
the spicy ranch secret sauce that we'll probably put on it also. And just because I like cheese, we'll chop up a piece of this, a couple pieces of this sliced cheese and put it on there. It'd be nice to have some cheese. I don't have any other cheese, so. Well, what are we gonna cut up these peppers on? I suppose I got a plate in here somewhere. Oops, there's already one out. Use that plate. We have a quite a few peppers in here. They have gotten a little bit wet in the cooler. They'll be all right. Look at this. We've got these little red ones, and then we've also got jalops in here. That'll be enough for one burrito. We'll start with that. I'd say these guys are probably finished. They're popping. Oh yeah, that's crispified. All right, that's good there. And we'll try to put these guys together. So I didn't cut up a. I cut up one jalapeno and one of those red ones. But we're gonna put that all on probably one burrito. I don't know. These jalapenos are pretty hot. It's pretty spicy. Oh. Oh. Yeah, those are really spicy. Get the fine china out here. Tortilla. We gotta put our fire sauce into the noodles, but we're gonna we're gonna drain those, I guess. That one jalapeno has got me sweating. Probably not putting all of those on one burrito. We'll put our fire sauce in here and stir that up though. Chop them noodles up a higher. one of these weenies. Okay. A little bit of ramen. It's a weenie. Oop, don't lose your wiener. Some peppers. Somebody's coming back up here. There's been a surprising amount of traffic, honestly. These are chicharrones. Hopefully, it's not the neighbors. Crush up a little red rod on there. piece of cheese. I probably should have just put this on first. Well, we'll save that. That's a lot of cheese. And then we'll throw on some chipotle sauce here. And a bit of ranch. How's it going? Good, how are you? 
Not too bad. That's a hell of a hill to drive in a fit. <laughs> I was hauling butt, man. Man. 35 to 40 all the way. That thing just beat my truck to death. <laughs> no, I did, I did come from Mayfield. Oh, okay. It's a better road. All right. Although I, I go the other way, too. I just can't go that fast. Uh, yeah, it was a rough one. It's pretty rough. I think I might go back that way just for fun. Yeah. Camping stick. All right. Burrito time. Mm. So I don't know what you saw that or if you saw it. He's up in here at Hana Fit. But he didn't drive the same road I did. Mm. Mm, nom, nom. Mm. Oh man, wait, you gotta see the sunset. You can just barely see it right there. Right there. It's way more orange in person. Mm. It's so good. <laughs> it's so good right now. Going in for round two. <clears throat> Let you guys see this one before I fold her up. Look at that. Focus on that, not my face. There we go. Yeah. ramen and anything else on a tortilla together it's burrito time baby mm. no last bite so good. Mm. well guys I need to crack up a beer That was really spicy. I don't know if you guys can see. I'm over here dripping sweat. That's an animal. Oh my God. Those are some spicy peppers. Well. I got a little bit of food left. I have a whole wiener. Uh, but I gotta take a break because it's hot. And then I'm gonna get this stuff cleaned up. I don't know about a fire. We'll see. Maybe they'll start a fire. The dude that drove up there in a fit, he's camping out over there. Um, but I have movies. I got a movie. I can watch a movie tonight. I'm pretty excited about that, honestly. Uh, since I don't have any internet, uh, it'll be nice to enjoy a movie, but once again, I also bet there's a bunch of stars out here. Yeah, beautiful place. Spicy peppers. It's, I'm dripping sweat off the back of my head, too. Like, not as bad as, as the super spicy ramen challenge, but whew, those are spicy peppers, and they're just jalapenos but they're fresh. Cheers to a, cheers to a beautiful spot and uh, a cool drive. I've managed to find some really cool spots so far this trip. So I'm excited for what the next, next day brings too, but it was a great dinner. Ramen mixed with pretty much anything on a tortilla. Very good. Cheers. Oh. All right, 
right, well, we've made it in the rig. Uh, I'm going to try to watch a movie on my laptop. And I'm going to have to be able to somehow mirror my phone screen. And hope that works. Because the movies are on my phone, but there's got to be a way for me to mirror my screen onto my laptop. So I don't have to watch it on something so small. My thermometer says like 66 degrees now. Okay. So I can go in my little drop down up top and do a thing that says link to Windows, but I have to be able to open up a browser on my phone or on the computer. I can't sign in because I don't have any internet. Like, why can't I just plug it in? I should have done this. I should have tried to do this when I had the internet. I can't do anything because I ain't got no internet. Bogus. Well, y'all, I tried. I have to have internet in order to like initialize the ability to do this. And I don't have internet, obviously, so that's not gonna work. Just play a movie on my phone. It's better than nothing, right? It ain't all bad. I didn't have anything the last couple of nights, so. Tonight, I all I have on my phone is Amazon Prime. Uh, I don't have Netflix or anything on here. But I downloaded three different movies. I have Empire Records, which I haven't seen in a long time. Grandma's Boy, I've seen that. I don't remember the last time I saw that movie. And then... There's a new movie called Samaritan. Uh, let's see if I can look at the details. So it's a uh, 13-year-old Sam Cleary suspects that his mysteriously reclusive neighbor, who is played by Sylvester Stallone, is actually the legendary vigilante Samaritan who was reported dead 25 years ago. With crime on the rise and the city on the brink of chaos, Sam makes it his mission to coax his neighbor out of hiding to save the city from ruin. So I'm going to see how this goes with Sylvester Stallone. Haven't seen him in anything in a while. So is that, is my camera lens dirty a little bit? Maybe, I don't know. Yep, there we go. Sorry about that. All right, I'm going to watch this on my phone. Dun, dun, dun. Light glows behind a ring of film tape with the words art for art's sake at the top. I don't need that playing. I don't know. It seems like some X-Men type of movie. Not really my cup of tea. But, well, I don't even have, like, I don't have a kickstand for this either, which is kind of a bummer. And I guess I would probably be able to see it for nothing if I set it all the way over there. Oh, this is kind of bogus. <laughs> These are some first world problems. All right. Using my, using my baseball hat. You guys can't see that, it's too dark. All right, I'm gonna chill out and watch this movie. Finish up my beer here. I suppose I can turn the bright ones on. Oof. All right. <sighs> I watched like a good 20 minutes of that Sylvester Stallone movie. Shut that off and watched Grandma's Boy. That, that was not my type of movie. It's more, it's definitely like a comic book 
superhero type vibe, which isn't really my thing. Um, I mean, I could watch some Deadpool, but that's about it along those lines. Uh, uh, oh, what time is it? I don't know. Where's my phone at? No, it's right here. It's what I was using to watch the video. Uh, it's 11 o'clock. I need to go to bed. I've got the windows open in here. And it is 58 degrees. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that on there. It was nice just chilling and watching a movie, though. It's been, been a little while since I've done that. So I haven't had anything with me to do that, I guess. Oh. All right, y'all. I'm going to get headed to bed. I'll see you guys in the morning. Oh, good morning. <sighs> I just rolled over and the sun's coming up over the mountain. Right there. Poke me in the eye. Woke me up. Oh, it's not a bad thing though. Uh, 7.53 in the morning. Oh, it's a little chilly. 56 degrees in here. It's a whole lot better than 70. 75, I'll tell you that. I slept great. I gotta go out there and pack up my hammock. Yeah. And then I'm probably just gonna get out of here this morning. Make my way down the mountain and find some coffee and breakfast in town. I don't feel like making any coffee right now, although I should. Uh, I don't want to. My dirty window, it's all dusty, but yeah, sun's poking me in the eyeball. Oh, man. Let's get this hammock packed up. Oh, there's a little chipmunk out there. Were you sleeping in my hammock, little homie? Whatever. All right. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna get my hammock packed up. We'll hit the road quick. Alright guys, we're going to get headed down the mountain here. I did plug my GoPro in, so we'll get a little bit of footage that way on our way down. But we'll make it down to where that waterfall is and we'll stop there and check that out. Because it was kind of neat, but I was on a bit of a time crunch to get up here last night. So I didn't want to get here after dark. And you never really know. How long it's gonna take you to get to some of these spots and it's pretty rocky in front of me all right switch you guys over to the GoPro and I'll see you guys down at the waterfall
right, so we just came down this way. It's a cool waterfall. The sun is in the wrong spot for me right now. Maybe I'll walk over here. I'm not exactly sure, but I think I'm on public land right now. Like, I think I could have just parked here last night, but I had no idea if I could or not, and I couldn't really look it up. I don't have any signal down here. By the time I got signal up there, I was three minutes from camp, so it didn't really matter, but here's a better shot. Starts way up there. It just tumbles down. It's really loud. But I've got a much longer drive down this mountain. I gotta go back up now and then back down. But I'm gonna go ahead and close this one out here. Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the next adventure. I'll see you in a bit.